Well, nearly 7 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's. Of those, more than 312,000 are living with the disease in Iowa and Illinois. And dementia is one of the costliest conditions. The Alzheimer's Association says the national cost of caring for people living with dementia is projected to reach $360 billion this year. Now, every year, the Alzheimer's Association puts on its Walk to End Alzheimer's, a massive fundraising effort. And the Quad Cities Walk is coming up on September 14th at the Vibrant Arena in Moline. It's why Rhonda Ellsbury is joining us here on The Current. Thanks for joining yes, us. Yes, thanks for having me. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so I guess first we should talk a little bit about what you brought with you today. Sure. Okay, so one of the big pieces of the Walk to End Alzheimer's is the Promise Garden. Mm -hmm. So walkers honor people with the Alzheimer's, and we carry these various colors of flowers. I don't have them all, uh, but I'll be carrying yellow. Uh, if you are a caregiver for someone with Alzheimer's or dementia, then yellow is your color. Purple might mean you've lost someone that you loved that had dementia. Dementia. Orange is that you support the cause or the mission. So uh, during the opening ceremonies, we have a chance to raise our flowers. And then as we get walking, we start sticking them in the ground and we create this huge promise garden that is an amazing uh, display of color. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, I have covered it and it's always beautiful to see yes. that. And yep. How does it feel when you guys kind of put them all down there and how does to see all of them together? Sure, it just feels good. Um, we're coming together as a community, right, to raise awareness and raise funds. and. Uh, we're taking off on that walk path. So it's part of the excitement that builds, right, during the opening ceremonies and all of that stuff. So plunking that into the ground means take off walking and we're there with our dogs or maybe, you know, wheeling somebody in a wheelchair or whatever. So it's just really fun and it helps create the extra excitement. Yeah, so walk us through, you know, what actually happens from start to finish for people who want to sign up. Oh, sure. Okay, so if you register to walk, awesome. Uh, Eight o'clock is the registration. So if you haven't registered online already, we can help get you registered. 9.30 is the opening ceremony, so usually we have a key speaker, we recognize our sponsors, we might do a shout out to somebody that reached Champions Club or whatever in their fundraising. Um, and then shortly after the opening ceremony, we all take off, uh, we put our flowers in the, in the lawn there, and then we do the two mile walk there in front of and behind the Vibrant Arena. And this is all a giant fundraiser for you guys. It is, What's yeah. What's your goal this year? Oh, our goal is big, but it's 158,000 here for the Quad Cities. And uh, as you know, Jenna, it's just important funds because it's going toward advocacy and clinical trials and research, um, the 24 seven hotline, the website, um, and then everything that's just needed to help those either with the disease or um, caregiving for. So educational for the community, things like that. So it's so important. Yeah. Well, and for all these people, you know, who are affected by it, how does it feel to bring all those people together? I'm sure there's a lot of support in that too. There's a lot of support and camaraderie. So I love kind of hearing the stories. I love seeing the families or the teams kind of standing together and getting their walk together. Um, sometimes you're bringing that loved one with you. There's this sea of purple. People are wearing either the shirt they've earned or uh, pur purple is the color for Alzheimer's Association. So just to see the love as the community comes together and supports these loved ones or the cause is uh, very endearing. Yeah. Well, and we don't need to get into it too much, but we were talking a little bit during the break. There's been a lot in the news lately about blood testing to help people get diagnosis and other drugs for yes. cures. Does that give you hope for that you guys are getting a little bit closer? I do believe we are. And so I was even noticing that 2024 has some great survey results that are uh, showing that the association is getting at some critical insights in closing gaps in care, um, public perception, things like that. So every year that goes by, every bit of awareness, every bit of money raised is going toward that education piece. And we're knowing more and more and more. We're obviously, we call it a race, you know, a fight for that cure to get to that first one who actually lives with the condition and doesn't. One in three pass away that have Alzheimer's. So we're looking for that cure and somebody that can be with us longer, um, early detection, risk prevention, all that stuff. So yes, every year we're gaining insight and ground. It feels so good to be doing that. And always a great event that you guys put on, Rhonda. Thank you Absolutely. for being here with You're us. welcome. Thanks for having us. And for you guys at home, we do have all the information you need to know about the walk, including how to sign up your team on our website right now. Just visit the As Seen on TV tab.